Good morning to Alexis Martinez Johnson. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. How are you today? It's Friday. Oh, thank the Lord. And it's you're in Artesia on a Friday. You should be wearing orange. Just oh, I know. You guys have a game, right? That's right. That's so right. So who are we playing today? Not Roswell High? No, no, no. Okay, because, no. you know, I grew up in Roswell. So you did. I, I got to watch the games, but I always knew that Artesia was one of the best football programs, not only in the entire state, but probably the nation. I think we could go up against any Texas team and, and really kick tail. You there know? you go. There you, so, so you grew up in Roswell. Well, I grew up in Roswell, but I live in Santa Fe with my husband and my four kids. And basically, you know, I'm running for U.S. Congress here in District 3, which includes Artesia, Hobbs, Roswell, parts thereof, and all the north because I want my kids to have opportunity. And a lot of opportunity um, for our children stems from sports. So I'm a big sports fan. I played for uh, Roswell High. And uh, later on, the, the schools, uh, you know, I ended up going to graduating there in uh, Las Cruces at Mayfield High. Okay. So because, you know, some of the schools that we have uh, during certain years, they have issue. And that's one thing that I'd really like to work on in U.S. Congress is making sure that our kids' education is number one and that also we bring down the crime. And that's a lot of what I faced uh, and all of us face here in New Mexico. So those are some of the reasons why I wanted to run for U.S. Congress. That's, that's as fantastic. Republican, so. as, as a Republican. Yes, that's sir. Right. So when you went to Roswell High, uh, who were some of your coaches? Well, I mean, uh, what did you play, and what were some of your? Well, I played basketball. Okay. And um, I also did volleyball. Was, was Joe uh, Carpenter your coach? You know, it's been gosh, when I was in high school back in the '90s, so I wasn't going to ask. I can barely <laughs> remember. I can barely remember, but I do remember um, uh, Coach Bradley there at Mayfield, and also I believe Roswell High at a point. That's right. So yeah. that was kind of cool. Um, you know, he's since passed, but. He was a wonderful coach, and he really um, furthered a lot of our kids. And and I, in my meantime, when I'm not running for U.S. Congress, I coach volleyball. Okay. So yeah. Well, that's good. Well, it's uh, volleyball is pretty popular sport around here too. And Mayfield is now in the same football district as Artesia. So when did that happen? Uh, about two years ago. No, no, no. Th no, this is the first year for this oh, alignment. Oh my goodness. So. Well, this is going to be some pretty powerhouse football because you know we have some of the best teams um, not only here in Artesia but you know Mayfield back when I went to school was you know ancient history I bet but they always had a really good football program. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now th that's great. So did you go to college in Las Cruces or? Well, you know, I got an academic scholarship to go to Vanderbilt University. So okay. that was, you know, the, the Commodores, one of the top schools in the nation. And from there, you know, in and around 9-11, uh, which we just passed, I was there in school and I saw that was the first inkling I had about getting involved into uh, affairs, government affairs, international affairs, because I thought, wow, look how other countries can affect the United States so much to kill American citizens. And that's when I first started getting involved in looking beyond my own area, my own thought process. You know, in college, we're really just worried about number one. And that's when I started to think about, you know what? We have got to be educated. We have got to have a secure uh, United States. You know, we, right now we have China, we have Russia. They're really pushing a lot of language right now we see in the papers about even nuclear talk. You know, Putin is threatening, and he threatens a lot with energy. And that's why I'm glad to be here in Artesia, because as an engineer, I know how uh, everything works here in Artesia, Hobbs, even Chavez County. You know, we are the energy powerhouse of the United States, and I'd like to see us as the number one uh, oil producer here. We could be shipping out our oil and gas products over there to Texas, Louisiana, and shipping it to Europe so we don't have to have Putin think that he can just expand in the year of 2022 and take over countries. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of Americans don't think that that kind of thing can happen. But I wouldn't put it past North Korea, China, or Russia to advance. And, you know, right now with the Biden administration running us into the ground, we really need to make a change. And I just want to tell everybody out there, if you are not registered to vote, go out and register to vote. If you work in the oil and gas field and you're registered in Texas or here and there, but you live here, please register to vote. This is going to be a close race. And my opponent, Teresa Ledger Fernandez, is an extreme far left progressive who wants nothing more than, than to see the decline of oil and gas, to see the decline of the money that would go to educating our children. And they have no respect for the backbreaking work it takes, working um, early mornings, late nights, being away from the family 
to turn on the lights there in Santa Fe. So please get out and vote. Vote Alexis Martinez Johnson. Check out my website, electalexis.com, and shoot over a donation if you can. Um, we really need your help. Good. Can you stick around for a few minutes? Yes, thank you. We have a news break coming up at the top of the hour. want to find out how on earth you can talk like this in Santa Fe. <laughs> That's got to be an interesting, uh, <laughs> you probably don't get invited out to dinner very often or stuff like that. So anyway, stick around. We'll be back with more. This is